I have concluded that I cannot support a man with his views for a lifetime seat on the Supreme Court. Seven years ago, in a five to four decision, the Supreme Court ruled in a case called Citizens United. And in that case, by a five to four decision, the court said that billionaires and corporations could spend as much money as they wanted on the political process. Based on my conversation with Judge Gorsuch and a review of his record, do I believe that he will vote to overturn Citizens United? Absolutely not. And in 2013, again, by a five to four vote, the Supreme Court gutted the 1965 historic Voting Rights Act. What the court said, finally, is that in the United States, you have the right to vote, no matter what the color of your skin is. An historic step forward. There is nothing that I have seen in Judge Gorsuch's record or in his recent statements to suggest to me that he is prepared to overturn this disastrous decision on the Voting Rights Act. In 1973, the Supreme Court decided Roe versus Wade and declared that women have a constitutional right to control their own bodies. In his confirmation hearings, Judge Gorsuch refused to state if he believed Roe v. Wade was good law and should be upheld. Do you view Roe as having super precedent? I, 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 a super precedent is a... a In numbers, uh, 44... It, it has been reaffirmed many times. I can yes. say that. Based on his statements and general philosophy, I believe there is a strong likelihood that Judge Gorsuch would vote to overturn Roe v. Wade. In addition, under Chief Justice John Roberts, the Supreme Court has time and time again voted in support of corporate interests and against the needs of the working people of our country. After reviewing Judge Gorsuch's record, I believe that he will continue that trend. In a case called Trans Am Trucking, Judge Gorsuch argued that a trucker was properly fired by his employer for abandoning his cargo at the side of the road after his truck broke down and he nearly froze to death waiting for help. After informing my employer of my physical condition, they responded by telling me to simply hang in there. As I sat there physically suffering in the cold, I started having thoughts that I was going to die. My employer fired me for disobeying their orders. And I'd like to make it clear that although I detached the tractor from the trailer, I returned and I completed my job and I was still fired. I disputed my termination from Trans Am Truck and, and ultimately won. This was a seven year battle. Seven different judges heard my case. One of those judges found against me. That judge was Neil Gorsuch. Judge Gorsuch literally believed that this man should have had to choose between his life and his job. And by choosing his life, not freezing to death, he deserved to lose his job.